hurt a little. <laughs> <laughs> For real? I hit my ring. Like oh, yeah. oh my god! No, like on my pinky. Anyway, hello. <laughs> really Welcome to the Hustling Sideways podcast. We're going to just roll on it. That's fine. I'm sure it's you fine. Good? Yeah, you good? You might no, have just I, broke I a bone. It, like, directly on my, my, you know, this 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 gosh darn ring, I'll tell you. <laughs> He's taken, ladies. Um, <laughs> welcome, everybody, to the Hustling Sideways podcast. I'm Alan Hallis. I'm a music writer. I'm Jim Love. I'm a motivational speaker, and we have not been drinking, I promise. No, he's just in yeah, pain. I'm in pain. Um, <laughs> And we have a podcast called Hustling Sideways where we talk to some amazing guests. Mm -hmm. We talk about their side hustles, passion projects, all sorts of things like that. But we also do these bonus episodes in between uh, where we talk about things that side hustlers are going through, uh, including ring pain, apparently. That hurt. Like, honestly, that hurt. I'm I'm a little concerned. Thank you for asking. I'm a little concerned, yeah. Yeah. Um, But today, Mm -hmm. we are talking about something (laughs) less painful, uh, marketing yourself and yes. getting your your name out there getting your business out there you can have a side hustle you can have a side project but there's you know the challenge of you're people facing to, the people, world yeah people have to know about it yeah like, people have to know you're doing it and and how to work with you yes and so i think that's something that you learn over time mm-hmm. and you definitely figure out what works for you and you really learn what doesn't work for you pretty quickly Very, yes um jim how did you kind of start getting your name out there like especially for you you've, you're totally. a motivational speaker yeah yeah, you got to be known and you got to be vetted, right? Right. It's important. Um, exactly. And when I say vetted, like they need to know what you're saying. Well, talking yeah. To anyone, right? To literally start. It's yeah. like, okay, here's so, a guy that talks. <laughs> oh, exactly. I fortunately was able to get my start um, at a conference, uh, which Alan just saw me at, which was the Wisconsin Leadership Seminars uh, about eight years ago. And it happened. Um, the man that was uh, the man, my friend, Ari, I don't know why I said the man uh, that was that was helping me to, um, to like to mentor me. He was he double booked himself that weekend. And he said, oh, uh-huh. well, I can't make it, but I think you can. So he convinced the staff, who's now become my really good friends, yeah. that I was able to do this. And I was 24, and I said, okay, like let's see what happens. So it was literally because he couldn't make it and said I could do it. Wow. I got my chance. And then from there, there was about 250 kids at this at this seminar. Um, <laughs> and, and, and I was able to get some work out of that. They were like, we really want him to come to our school. So um, there's two ways. First of all, was that. And second of all, my friends who were teachers, I said, you know, hey, I'd love to like work with you. How do I do this? And they would talk to their principals and say, we have this friend who wants to do this. And I would send them a summation of what I talked about. Um, and that really helped. And then I made a website based off that. So I had okay. a video, made a website. The website works, you know, still I send it to people, but sure. um, but to, word of mouth in this in this business is very important. And if, okay. if you get along with a teacher or, or an employer, you know, whoever it might be that you're speaking with, and they share your info with with other people in their district or in, in, in their community or just generally like in their industry. Yeah. That's huge. And people are going to be like, hey, this guy worked out really well for me because a lot of times it's research that they have to do. Okay. And if you take that, if like if the people in your network take that research off their plate, their job is done. It's like, yeah. I found this guy. He's good to go. And, you know, here you go. And then and then it's repeat business after that. Like right. I, I work with a school. A year later, maybe it's their freshman again. A year later, rinse and repeat. You know, um, yeah. if I speak to a whole school, that's different. I wait for a couple of years. Uh, just actually got a repeat business out of that. Nice. How long I've been doing this. I spoke at my high school again, which was great. <laughs> um, but that's really been it's it's been a combo of of people I know, combo of of speaking at conferences with a lot of a lot of schools involved, sure. and then of knowing employers uh, that like know what my message is and can share that within their network. And then I have my website and sort of, I have recommendation letters that go along with that, Mm -hmm. but my, the product speaks for itself, you know? And if you have someone that could be like, Hey, this guy's great, bring them on. That's a big help. So that's been kind of the, and it's matured over the years. Like with those people I go to, I just reach out to them and I'm like, Hey, can you tell five people about me? And yeah, like, that spreads like wildfire and it nice. really helps out. So that's, that's been a really significant way for me. Okay. Yeah. That is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, in the media business, yes. it mm-hmm. is, uh, you, you live and die by the, the social media essentially mm-hmm. Yeah, for us. Yeah. I mean, um, tagging people on like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those things has become like, and not in like comments, not like spammy tagging right, somebody. Right. Like when we write about somebody, Tagging them has been the best thing for starting a business, mm-hmm. starting a media business, because, you know, they might not know your article exists about them. Totally. But then once you put that out there, it kind of makes their day to be like, oh, hey, someone wrote yeah, about in, in the music world. Somebody wrote about my song. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Somebody wrote about my music video, somebody whatever. And are they resharing that then? Yes. So we that? get okay. we do really well off of like resharing that way. Mm-hmm. But then also, you know they're discovering it too because Mm, they might not know about breaking and entering. They might not know about my site. Read, they read one article about them, but Mm -hmm. then they see all the related articles and they go, okay, what is this thing that I landed on? 
And yeah. so like they're clicking around that way, it's generating page views. And then, you know, if I'm really lucky, they're telling people about it. Um, but it, it, we really live and die off the social media mm-hmm. because obviously you're on the internet, you're competing with the internet. You're competing with the literal <laughs> it's, world. It's, <laughs> you know, literally everything that's ever existed is what you're competing with. Yeah. If you can get enough people to come to your little corner of the mm-hmm. internet, uh, which is true for any content game, right. it's true for this, right. it's true for everything. Mm-hmm. But that is the biggest thing is for us to do that. Um, the other thing that was amazing for me is I saw a huge increase once we started doing live and in-person events, mm-hmm. once we started booking concerts in our case. Um, being able to get out and like put our banner up, put our like cards yeah. out there and everything like that. Like most people don't know this, but the, the concerts that we do, the events that we do, I don't care if I make a dollar off of them yep. because they are more so about getting the promotional, getting the logo out there, getting the banner out awareness there. Is huge. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Alan's just also very humble. So he doesn't care about the money, <laughs> but awareness is huge. I, I, I kind of don't care about the money, <laughs> but yeah. Um, that has been, that was a big uptick for us. As mm-hmm. soon as we saw that, you know, people are physically being like, what is this thing? Yeah, tell me you more. can actually see people like taking are stickers. We, are and we talking t- about breaking into a house and entering it? Like, well, what are we doing? Yeah. Let me tell you, someday we will also do a bonus episode about how terrible your names can be. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's like very that. hard to sell sponsors on a website <laughs> called breaking and entering. Let me tell you. <laughs> not uh, that I know from experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But today is not that day. Yes. No, uh, today is about marketing. And mm-hmm. so we're curious, what do you do to market Tell yourself? Us more. Yeah. Let us know uh, if you're watching this somewhere with a comment. Go ahead and comment. Um, otherwise, just send us a line. You can drop us a line over at hustlingsideways at gmail.com. And conveniently, if you want to be a guest on this podcast, you can do that by sending us an email at hustlingsideways.com uh, or hu- at hustlingsideways gmail. at gmail.com. Correct. Thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, at, at Yahoo or at, at Gmail. Gmail. Got, got just it. Gmail. Got it. Uh, you can also find Hustling Sideways around Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, and if you want, if you're listening to this show for the first time, thank you. Hello. Welcome. Appreciate you. Welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this podcast wherever you get your podcasts. We are here. We've got new content for you every Monday. Mm-hmm. And you can also rate us five stars because, you know, you just like us. You just five. like us. Five. Five. Five, five stars. dollar stars. Yes. Oh, five. Yeah. No, no, no. That's somebody else. That's got not it. us. Whoops. No. <laughs> so... Thank you so much for watching and and listening and consuming this podcast and marketing, you know, ourselves to you. Yes, that's <laughs> what we're doing right now. Yeah, but we're also going to scram cuz uh, we've had long days and we're that's tired. That's enough. Yeah, we're really this is a lot. So, thank you for listening to the show. We will see you next week Monday and Jim, keep on hustling.